Hi there, it's April, and I just wanted to talk through a couple points on our syllabus. So, yeah, I'm just going to make this syllabus now. I'm just going to kind of scroll through and talk it through. So the first thing on here has to do with communication and ways that you can get a hold of me. Um, you know, we've got email, and on here I have two email addresses listed. You know, it really uh, is really best for me if people contact me on the abril.lpc at gmail address. And that's because that goes only to my online students at Los Cepedos. I actually do teach at some other universities. I teach at University of San Francisco, San Francisco State. So it's helpful for me to separate them out that way. I do have on there my backup email. Uh, that's where everything kind of from everywhere goes. Um, yeah, so the, the main email that you can contact me at is abril.lpc at gmail in the syllabus. You know, uh, I should uh, mention that just because volume of email gets really high at times, um, you know, if you don't hear back from me at the beginning, it's not a problem. It's actually a help if you email a second time, honestly, even a third time, if it's in the middle of like exams or whatever. So yeah, it's not a problem, it's actually a help. I try to get to everything as soon as I can, but there you go. You know, I also have a phone number. This is not my personal number. It's a Skype number that I use strictly for my online classes. And you can call. Uh, you can give me a call there. Uh, it's on the syllabus. I often pick it up. I always will hear the message. If you are leaving a message, you know, you should definitely leave your name in the class and just be as clear as you can on what you want us to talk about. So, yeah, there's, uh, there's communication. Let's take a look here. You know, I have a link to my website there called BillWiki. I've made that over a couple of years. There's really a lot on it if you go into all those tiny little sections. Really, the only stuff that we need, I link to on Blackboard. So you don't have to go navigate around on there. On the other hand, if you want to, you're totally free to. There's lots of stuff there, and you can check it out. One thing that I should mention is that uh, you will see some comments on some of the pages there. There was a time where I assigned students you know, to go make a comment. Um, I'm not doing that now. So none of your assignments are submitted on my website, Bill Wiki. That's the one listed on the syllabus. You're welcome to leave a comment if you want to, but just to clarify, none of our stuff is turned in. Who knows? Maybe I'll do that again some other day. Okay, our retired required text is Voices of Wisdom, sixth edition. Some people I you know I know get older volumes or editions. That's totally fine. Uh, the one thing you know you'll have to see if your edition matches up chapter one. And basically, you know, if you get a, a different edition, you're welcome to do that, but pretty much the burden's on you to see if it all matches up. And you can see by the um, study questions on the study guide if it's the same reading. So that's our only required text, and also we've got lots of online material. I've got lots of links from my website and other places that add to what we do. Okay. Here's, I guess, the moment we've all been waiting for, assignments. We have three different types of assignments. And basically the way that I organize the course is that we've got a midterm half and a final half, two halves. Each half of the course has the three different assignment types. So for the, up to the midterm, we'll have a midterm exam, one of our two exams. We'll have three to five discussion assignments, and we'll have one thought experiment. And basically, the second half of the course, going up to the final, will be the same thing. We'll have a final exam, three to five discussion assignments, and a second thought experiment. So I'll go back over those and say a little bit about each one of those, but that's how we do the course in general. Midterm has those three assignment types up to the final Another round through those, basically kind of repeating the same thing with different material. Then we're done. Okay, so for the exams, um, you know, those are like about 30 um, short answer 
questions. They might be like uh, multiple choice. Most of them are some true, false, and an occasional fill in the blank kind of deal, but short, objective questions. About 30 of them. It could change here or there. Um, very important because this is a decent number of points for this class. I have a study guide for the midterm and a study guide for the final. Those are really one of your most important course resources. Those study guides have lots of questions on them, lots of them, and there might be more shortly added. There wouldn't be a ton more. I might just kind of tweak it, add a little something here or there. But I make the objective portion of the exam from those study guides. That's exactly. So if you can answer the questions on the study guide, you're ready for the exam. So really the best thing to do there, do the reading, look at those questions, and I've got these super helpful audio and sometimes video clips, kind of like this, where it's basically me going over really the answers to the exam or to the, to the study question. Sometimes they're long-winded answers. It's not just like, boom, here you go, straight out of the can, here's the answer, but they're answers nonetheless. So I've got notes. I've got these audio video things. All the questions are there. There's a lot of questions, but it's totally there for you to do. So for the exam, that's what you want to do. Check out the study guide, and that is a link on course materials now on Blackboard for the midterm. Small caveat, there's a chance. I might add a few to it, not a lot. But you can still get started. Okay, discussion. Um, those, uh, you say one thing before on the exam. The exam will just appear on course materials. You'll get a announcement, and you go on. There's just one time to take it, so don't close it and come back to it. When you're ready to do it, do it. And um, there you go. So discussions, uh, as you can see now, there's like three. No, right now there's two discussions in our discussion board area. I'm going to add a couple more. Uh, I'm thinking I've already got two more I'm thinking about. One's on like free will and determinism. One is on sexual morality, which will be kind of fun. Kind of still making some final decisions there, but it'll be kind of fun. But we'll, we'll have at least one, probably two more before the midterm. The first two are up there. You can get on those right away. Um, you know, I would say this. for On the discussions, it's fairly open-ended, but, you know, I noticed some people just do blurb. And I really just look, the first thing I look for is, like, you know, how much real reading, thought, and analysis, and conceptual, philosophical effort am I looking at? You know, does this look like a blurb, or does this look like a thoughtful, philosophically rich uh, uh, submission? So, um, you know, it differs in each case, but get as rigorous, in-depth, thoughtful, creative as you can. And try to stay away from blurbs. Some people do that. Blurbs definitely be taken down on points. Okay. Uh, the last thing is uh, thought experiments. I'm not going to go into the details here, but these are basically like hypothetical scenarios that test out our philosophical intuitions and um, often lead us to some pretty interesting conclusions about our own ideas, about some kind of big philosophical topics that admittedly get started in these very far-flung hypothetical situations. So um, I'm going to make a separate audio for those thought experiments, but We've got two of those, and I'll have like a little place on course materials. It'll look like a little essay test where you turn those in, and you do that's just for turning those in. So that'll be on course materials too. Okay, then down below we've got grading. It's a pretty uh, standard grading scale. I do give positive consideration for great performances, and take a look at the general criteria for all written work. Pretty straightforward. Um, yeah, the last thing I would say is take a look at course policies and uh, do take notice of email requirements and stuff. And okay, I will talk to you later.